Okay, so I've got my sink for my granite countertop. Um, got a polished edge all the way around this sink. Um, this sink is designed to be an undermount sink. Um, when you're using stone or um, these hard surface countertops, an option is to do an undermount sink. It's really clean. There's no edge of the sink on the top. So when you're cleaning, you just brush stuff right into the sink. Um, but overmount is fine too. Some people do them on granite. You have to do an overmount sink when you're doing laminate. Um, so if you were doing an overmount sink in a laminate countertop, you would be supplied with a template to cut through your countertop to the exact size that is required for the sink to drop in. Uh, then the sink has a flange similar to this, but finished that would go around it. And that would be the exposed um, rim that you would see around the top of your countertop. Uh, in this situation, I'm doing an undermount sink. I'm just going to dry fit it to make sure that my granite hole was polished to the right size to hold this sink. Um, this hole is smaller than this sink by a little bit so that there's a reveal around the inside. So I've just got to put a bead of silicone all the way around the top surface of this. I'm gonna use some really sticky tape to hold the sink up into position. And then underneath the sink, I'm gonna cut a block of wood from this drain down to the bottom of the cabinet and just wedge that in there until, um, then, I, then I'll put some epoxy around this rim in a, in a few locations. Uh, it'll just help the sink bond right to the underside of the granite countertop and uh, let that dry for a day before I take the stick out and then I can do my finished plumbing. So I'm just gonna do a dry fit for you guys so you can have a look. And that's uh, the basic location for the undermount sink. So I'm gonna pull this out and get my silicone and epoxy and stuff ready. And then I'll show you guys how to pop it in. So I've got some really sticky tape. Okay, so that's just gonna help me hold it in position until I can get my um, wood block underneath. So now I'm gonna use my silicone and just put a nice bead around the perimeter of the sink. Okay, so now that's ready for me to uh, pull up into position, temporarily stick it down with the tape, go underneath of it and wedge the wood block in. Then um, I'll mix up some epoxy to add those globs of epoxy on uh, probably four to six locations on the sink underneath. And then that should be uh, good after it's dry to uh, mount all the rest of my plumbing.
So what I'm looking for now is just a nice even reveal around the underside here. And uh, then, then I know I'm in the right position. Um, I'll go mix my epoxy and put a few blobs of it underneath. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so here's my epoxy. It's a two-part system. It's the epoxy. Here's the hardener. I'm just gonna mix these two together on top of some cardboard here and then make a couple of blobs underneath the sink to help bond together. Okay, so that looks nice and mixed up. So to take a glob like this, go up underneath the sink. Uh, I think I'm gonna use this front corner right here. And I'm gonna do that on the uh, other three corners and then let it dry. Okay, so I've got my four blobs up there. Uh, I've got a nice silicone bead around the corner. I've got it locked into place with the uh, dead man or the stick. Um, I'll leave this till tomorrow and then I'll start working on the final drain for the sink.